This checkpoint video tutorial shows you how to use the management API commands that are introduced with R80. I'm Jake, Checkpoint Admin. Today, I'm going to show you a bash script that uses the management API to create and edit host objects in the management server's database. Let's take a look at the network deployment. There is a Gaia R80 security management server and an R77.30 gateway. Smart console is running on Windows. Greetings! Now and then, I spend a ton of time creating new host objects for the network. And that's my first admin task for today. Luckily, I got a bash script to run API commands and automate this task. Here's an overview of the four ways to send API commands to the management server. The management CLI tool lets you run scripts in expert mode and is included with every new Gaia gateway and server. Oh, by the way, the Windows version, managementcli.exe, is in the installation directory for Smart Console. Enter API commands directly from Cliche, the secure shell for the Gaia operating system. From Smart Console, you open a CLI window and then enter the API commands. Use HTTPS POST requests to send API commands to the management server. For this video tutorial, we are using the management CLI tool. Okay, let's double check the management server and make sure that the API server is up and running. I connect to the server and run API status. Ah. It looks like the API server is disabled. Not a problem. We can enable it right now. In Smart Console, I go to the Manage and Settings view and click Blades. Go to the Management API section and click Advanced Settings. Select Automatic Start and to connect from the GUI clients. Now, click OK and publish the changes. Go back to the CLI window and run API Restart. The API server is up and running. We are good to go. Today's sample bash script is create host. And I run it from expert mode on the management server. The script has three sections. For starters, the script logs into the management server and runs the add host API command to create a new host. For the second section, it calls the show host API command and checks if the host object already exists in the database. In the third section, the script lets you associate the host with a list of group objects using the set group and add group commands. For section one, the script uses these management CLI commands, login, add host, publish, and log out. Now, let's get this party started. Login, remember, we already logged into the management server CLI in expert mode. The management CLI login command lets us log into Smart Console with the root user credentials. We ask the admin to enter the host name and IP address. Then we use that data to run the API command management CLI add host to create the host object. Now, we need to run management CLI publish to publish the changes. All that is left is to log out with management CLI logout. Voila! Also, we are using these three custom functions to help manage errors. For the second section, we use these API commands. Management CLI show, add, and set host. Let's start with lines 15 to 29. This new section checks if the host name already exists in the management database. Lines 16 and 17 try to display the content of the host. If the call to show host fails, the script creates a new host because we assume that a host with the entered name does not exist. In lines 20 to 29, if the host object does exist, the user has the option to edit the settings for it. Looking at lines 36 to 45, in this section, we change the lines for the add host command 
so that it is only used when we are creating a new host object. Lines 41 to 44 use the set host command to change the IP address when you are editing the host. Section 3, hello JQ, and we use these API commands, management CLI show, add, and set group. At line 3, we added JQ to make it easier for us to read the output from the server. JQ is a lightweight JSON command line processor, and we can tell the API to output to JSON. Starting with R80, JQ is included with Gaia. Totally awesome. Lines 50 to 74 introduce the functionality to add the new host to an existing group or create a new one. Similar to the show host command in lines 17 to 31, we can use the management CLI show group command to search the database for a specific group. If the group does not exist, then we use management CLI add group to create a new one with this host. If the group is already in the database, we use management CLI set group to add the host to it. And we are done. I'm going to run the script and create a host named Jake. And I'm adding it to a new group called Hello World. Now, I go to Smart Console and here is my host. Boom! My day just got a lot easier. We use the API Management CLI tool to run a script on the management server. The script automated these tasks. Create a host. Check if the host already exists in the management database. Add the host to a group. And finally, it uses JQ to help parse the response from the management server. Thanks for watching and have a great day.